Senegal become the first African team to finally pick up a victory with a 2-1 win over Poland. And if we're talking Poland, I'm so happy to have Janusz Michalik <laughs> here with me for this one. Because, Janusz, you have to try and make sense of this now. How did Poland get things so wrong? Where's the nearest pub? Uh, before, <laughs> um, what did they get uh, wrong? Everything. Uh, wrong formation, wrong personnel. Uh, they choked. Senegal were better, faster, fitter, stronger. There's a commercial like that somewhere, I, I think. Uh, and I think Poland knew that ahead of time. So the only thing you can do is match all of that. And if you can't, you've got to be smarter in how you keep the ball, play around the team, don't allow them to use uh, that physicality, that pace, and the quality, because uh, Senegal does have a certain amount of uh, uh, quality before. So, uh, yeah, I mean, this is a team that uh, choked under pressure. Huge talking point in that match is that second goal that Poland conceded when Niang came on and scored that and that howl, I guess we could call it, from Krikowiak where he hit it. But you said, you know what, it is fair because the refs did flag him on and you just can't be caught sleeping. Yeah, they didn't, uh, they didn't break any rules. Uh, you have to pay attention. You have to be aware at all times. I know it's not easy, but the best players in the world, best teams and managers, because, you know, manager could maybe uh, let, let them know pay attention to little details that ultimately may decide matches. So, yeah, uh, to me, that was a perfectly scored goal. All right, well, let's have a look at the group standings after these two games in Group H. And all I have to say, it's lit. Because at the beginning of this, we never thought that we would see <laughs> Senegal and Japan topping the group with the two group favorites, Colombia and Poland, right at the bottom. But this sets up a juicy fixture between Poland and Colombia. We know Colombia will be scrapping. So what would you like to see Poland change now going into that? What can we expect? Be a little bit brave. Forget the first game. Uh, uh, pressure is always important. But, you know, this was the World Cup final for Poland. In the first game. It always is for teams like Poland. And now, uh, I don't know if Colombia losing is good because now they're, you know, it's a mass win game for both sides. And you look at the quality of Colombia, and now you're going to probably have Hamas playing from the beginning and all their quality players on the pitch. Uh, uh, so, yeah, show everything you've got. There's nothing to lose for Poland right now. Nothing but three points will suffice. All right, thanks so much to Janusz Michalik. He's going to try run off and drown some tears elsewhere. So we're going to wrap things up. Make sure to stay tuned Here's to me. ESPN FC and make sure to catch the show later on as we continue our World Cup coverage on ESPN+. Plus.